Hi guys, welcome back to Johnny's XJ. Just off to the local uh, auto auto parts shop, auto space shop. Oh, I don't know to get some grease for my headstock bearings, and then we can go back in the shed. Right, mate. Now uh, after some grease. Just normal. Yeah. Uh, take the 499. Is it high melting point? Yeah. High melting point. Yeah, it's a yeah. lithium base. Yeah. I'm sure it is. Move it on to see crap and stuff like that. It's just for head stock bearings, it should be alright, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it says bearings, chassis, joints, linkages. High melting point lithium base, Christian. Yep. Contactless. Yep. Straight on the top, Mister. There you go. Thank you. Is there a carry around like that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so there's another four ninety nine to my uh, budget money pit. So I guess I'll see you back in the shed. See you in a bit. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A moped engine. And he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with a whole piece of rug. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. Okay, got our grease, four ninety nine. Let's get these bearings packed. I think that's what they call it. Pack these bearings with grease. I think you're on about a spoonful. Oh. That's about a spoonful. Wash it in there, I guess, till it's all gone. I think that should do it. So let's get them back on the headstocks. Yes, so now it's the odd part getting the bearing back on the shaft. Make sure it's nice and clean, obviously. Put your bearing over the shaft. Make sure it's the right way up, or we'll be in deep shit. Imagine putting that on upside down. And you've got to get it all off again. Now you can either use a press, which I haven't got, or you can, or you can use the old bearing on the top. So 
so you don't damage anything because if you put anything on these sides these sides this cage if you put anything on this bearing what overlaps this cage it is proud of the inner bearing that is actually proud you start whacking 10 bells out of that you're going to be whacking on this cage as well and you're not going to do it any good whatsoever so if you put the old bearing back on that way round so it goes in the middle it's a bit safer so I'm told and I can either ding 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 still risk damaging it or if you've got something like me uh, what's it called what's this called it's called a front fork stanchion god my brain's going and if you cut that to size with your angle grinder, you know, rest it there like that and cut it off a bit higher, plonk it over the top, fits nicely on your bearing. And then when it's sawn off about there, then you can whack seven bells out of it or ten bells or how many bells you want so let's get this cut in half Yeah, put the disc on first. Yes, I think it'd be easier if I put the disc on first. Oh, where's my guard? I've got no guard. Pack it. feel safe without the guard. No, I'm not going to risk it not without the guard on. You know, if I had hula hoops in my ear holes and uh, piercings through my eyebrow and nose, then I'd be a pain freak, wouldn't I? And I'd just go ahead and uh, do it without the safety guard on. Cool, no wonder they leave the safety guard off. don't enjoy sitting in the hospital either do they okay let's get back to it where's my little wheel where did I put my big knot oh there it is it's like that isn't it working on something you put your tool down and then it disappears Two weeks later you find it in the bathroom. Behind the toilet. Oh shit, that didn't sound good. Did you hear that? I think that one's about to blow. like my matching gloves that 
one's a drain cleaner and that one's a gardener. Which one am I? Yes, don't get your earmuffs. Earmuffs. And don't forget your Kawasaki safety glasses. Okay, wish me luck. I just say when doing stuff like this don't wear crocs because the sparks burn your feet and when I cut through that bit and that bit falls off it falls on them it's going to be a trip to casualty isn't it to the end. Cool, oh, my video skills are brilliant, aren't they? Lovely. Yes, I all ask, I, what? Yes, I hear you all asking. Well, why is he wearing crocs then? Simple, because I'm like everybody on YouTube. I'm stupid. Yes, I'm not going to forget the burr. I don't like metal splinters either. And make sure you clean the inside of your tube out because you don't want all that rust going into your bearing, do you? So try and make sure your bearing is level. Put your old bearing shell on the top. Duh. Put your newly made tool on top of that. If you had something big enough to compress it, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? You know, like if you put that on a jack, put that under a concrete bridge, metal bridge thing, and Bob your uncle. Where's my hammer gone? Ooh, Mr. Hammer, where are you?
three minutes ago, I had the hammer in my hand. Where the hell has my hammer gone? Oh, Here's my hammer. That's not an hammer. That's an hammer. Let's do some whacking. Stay in the middle. Is it going? Do you want to go down there? Then you can tell me if it's going. How's that? Can you see the gap? Tell me if it's going. Is it going? Don't bloody look like it. Oh, let me get comfortable. I think it's going, but you're not telling me, are you? Don't forget to shout. It's going, it's going! I knew I'd get that stuck on there as well. You dickhead. I gotta get that off there. Oh, I thought I was doing a good job. Yes, even I don't make mistakes. Oh, this is not gonna be pretty, is it? I won't show that in my video because you'll all laugh at me. And you'll think I'm absolutely stupid like everybody else on YouTube. Hello monster. You come to help. I don't want the big wet kids. And I've had a wash, thank you. So there we are. That's the odd part done. Twisted the bearing round. Like that. And all the grease went inside and disappeared. So I'm gonna put some more on top. I mean if you go through all this trouble you don't want your bearings wearing out in five minutes, do you? You know what I've done, don't you? Come on, tell me what have I done wrong? What has this stupid idiot Mr. Misley done wrong? Shall I give you a clue? No, you already know, don't you? Something to do with these. Okay. Let's bite the bullet. At least one good thing has come out of it. It's got me to sharpen my battered old chisel. From the lots of work it did get in that engine bolt out. This bike isn't making it easy, is it? Well, that's my own stupid fault, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can throw 20 quid down the swanny. Cool, now you know what it's like to be a spinal surgeon. Cool. Now you know what it's like to be a spinal surgeon.
Right, let's look at the damage. Bearing's okay. What a monkey boy. Get the fire out and start firing. Uh, there's a couple of chunks out of it, but no birds, so let's carry on. Why didn't you remind me to put you back on? Right. Not forgotten anything, have we? Let's do it again. Okay, so now we're back to where we was. Three quarters of an hour ago. Let's uh, grease the top bearings, shall we? Here's the top one all greased up. Do not forget the top seal. Okay then, let's make sure we do this right this time. Bottom seal, yes we've done. Yeah, yeah, bearing we've done. Rubber washer. Rubber washer. Uh, top bearing. Top seal, I've already put the top seal in, but I've got that seal as well. So I may as well use both of them, aren't I? And then one of them. 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 And then that. So let's do this. There's this bit first. Oh, that feels nice. It feels very nice. And it should be that. And it should be this. There it should be that. Lovely. Do you think that's too tight? Let's give it a bit of bedding in, shall we?
and put the uh, last nut on the top. See, we got there in the end. Big mistake, I know, but uh, at least I didn't edit it. Out. At least I didn't edit it out, did I? How many people on YouTube that do bikes do you think would have left that in? I don't think any of them would, would they? They're not as thick as me. They're all absolutely do everything's perfect and spot on, don't they? Lovely. So that's it for today. Hope you liked it as much as I did. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you. Wednesday. I'll see you in another life, brother.